Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Monday, April 8th, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Uh, very quickly, I mean, this is nothing really we haven't talked about already. We're trending up right now, everything is pointing higher still. And while we are testing major, major areas in the chart, like the 2878 half top of the key range level, you know, we still continue to see uptrending behavior. We may be at a cycle high right now. And if we are at a cycle high, perhaps we may see a one to five day pullback fairly soon. The one thing I am watching is the previous session's high. The previous session's high has been rejected now in after hours and pre-market trading and prices below it. However, uh, you can also see that price is also sitting above the breakout point here of the two day highs and Friday's midpoint. So it's in a digestive session here, which is what you would expect after kind of that trend day up type of behavior here Friday. Uh, we're only trading 10 and a half points of range today. That's 43% of average. It's been averaging 24 and a half per day on a 10 day basis. And now it's trading about 19 and a quarter on a five day basis. So the, sh the range is shrinking, obviously. And that tells us that perhaps um, at some point, the pendulum will swing the other way and now the volatility will increase. So with this narrow five day range here or four day range, you know, at some point we see a pop here. You know, we've been when we get a pop, we get about, you know, 80 handles of range, 90 handles of range on a four day basis. You know, that's something like this, right? Like this, these moves. We just saw that here. Now we're compressed again. Perhaps we see that next move. So again, keep an eye on the previous sessions high here main re you know real rejection there at that level which is basically 2900 could open up a one to five day pullback toward uh, the previous month's close again that could be a one day pullback like we see over here it could be a five day pullback like we see back here we will see but again keep an eye on the previous sessions high if you look at the NQ you'll notice similar behavior uptrending behavior very very nice bullish trending state we may be over rotated to the upside right now but not terribly we are sitting above the previous month's high in a tight little box again if you look down here quantifying this on a four day range basis i can do it on a five day as well uh, on a four day range basis is narrow which suggests that you know we could see increase of volatility that could take us to about 300 points over the upcoming four days if we reject here call it 76 then perhaps we drop down to about 73 right that could be about your 300 handles that we could see and that could be over four days look one that was one day that was two days that's about what you see here's three days same thing over here over four days this thing rotates downward about 250 points so are we going to see that type of behavior again perhaps uh, but it all starts with the previous high again three-day highs right now being rejected in after hours trading price trading below it it's not completely rejected we're still trending up higher highs higher lows it's just an early sign to watch for if we can't get above the three-day highs perhaps we have to auction back down uh, a stronger rejection would be better and we'll see what happens here after the open we could certainly continue right on up through these highs uh, and the same it could be said for the NQ very strong market we got to watch for rejection and any pullback is still counter trend and you, sh you take what you can get because the result likely after that pullback is a stronger move up so again got to watch for even bigger rejection here to see if this thing can rotate downward alright let's take a look now at crude oil now crude oil has in my opinion the biggest potential to pull back right now has the best market structure to do so uh, if you look at this again great uptrending market perhaps we're overextended to the upside uh, you can see right here previous session high so far price is sitting right at that zone and look how narrow the range is right now this is a 23 percent of average range day so far we're at 29 cents of range and this thing averages about a dollar twenty eight on a ten day basis on a five day basis is a dollar twenty three so it's about the same so right now this is extremely narrow we're certainly not going to stay this narrow and now if you look at the fifteen minute chart the thing to look at is how tight of a box this has become this is the previous sessions close price and we are forming a box right on top of it if there's any failure to hold 
that 6320 in the bottom of that box, usually you would auction all the way back down to the previous session's low. That's going to be here at about 6180. So previous session's high is here, previous session's close is here, and it's forming a nice little box on top. If there's a failure here, we rotate all the way back down to 6180, right? That's usually what would happen. At the very least, you get 62. 60, which is the midpoint of the previous session's range. So those are your two targets if you cannot hold 63.20 today on a short-term day trading basis. All right, let's take a look now uh, at gold futures. If you look at gold here, one thing we talked about last week is how narrow this range was. That's why this is set to a four-day. is because this four-day here was narrow, and we got a downside false breakdown. We have a pivot low, and from that pivot low, we can now forecast that 1333 is the average monthly range target. 1321 is now the primary target. That's your primary target zone. Additionally, we mentioned that if we were to find a pivot low, we can then forecast higher about 35 handles, 35 to 40 handles. That's usually about the range we get on a four-day range basis when we break out of this range. And so from that low, 1285s, you look higher about 40 handles. Uh, that's going to take you into about 1325. 35 handles, about 1320. Uh, 1320 to 1325. That's your target zone. And so again, from this low, it, we're quantifying it based on uh, range, and we're also quantifying it based on average monthly range. And again, we're at the bottom of the key range, which means usually you come to the middle here. So those are all bullish indications for gold. Meanwhile, the broader market's showing early signs of kind of topping out perhaps on a near-term basis. This could be done, again, one to three days, one to four days. Uh, and we've already got the low here. So basically, the next two days, we could be trading 1350 by tomorrow, perhaps. 1315, 1320 by tomorrow, perhaps. So again, um, the one thing to see here is that if any pullback comes back to about 1300, maybe 1298, that could be a great buy opportunity over the next day or two for a continuation higher. So again, that's the level to watch and to stay above in gold. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the new week of trading. Happy Monday, everyone, and I'll see you all in the trading room. Take care, folks.